everyone. Good, good evening. Welcome to the Whitliff Gallery of Southwestern and Mexican Photography. I'm Connie Todd. I'm the curator here. And this is a, a terrific evening, a wonderful turnout. Thank you all for coming. And I'm so sorry about the UT game. Uh, you know, but así es la vida, as we say in Spanish. Uh, but, uh, but I'm glad you got it together to, to make your way over here. And I know some of you are from uh, San Marcos and Wimberley, a little closer to home. Um, we're here tonight to celebrate uh, the exhibition of uh, photographs by Bill Whitliff called La Vida Brinca, and also the inauguration of his book, I hope all of you have a chance to buy one. This is a unique opportunity to uh, <laughs> a unique opportunity to to have it signed by by the photographer and also by both of the uh, authors of the introductory essays, Steve Harrigan and Elizabeth Ferrer, who are both with us tonight. So this is a triple threat, and I know for sure I'm going to get mine signed by everybody. So I hope you can all do that after. After the uh, discussion, they'll be seated uh, appropriately in front of the signage to do the book signing. Um, I, I, I really want to recognize the wonderful staff here at the Whitliff Gallery and the Writers Collection because they do everything and help out and make sure that evenings like this progress smoothly. They're all very shy. They're like the oryx or the greater kudu, and they hide in the in the bamboo, but uh, let's see, is Carla, Carla Ellard, are you anywhere near? Uh, no, where is she? Anyway, Carla is the assistant curator for the, for the Whitliff Gallery, and she, uh, she helps, uh, she certainly helped with the hanging of this exhibit and the arrangement of the photos and the informational case that's at the end of the gallery, which I hope you all had a chance. It has Bill's pinhole cameras and so forth on display. And it's very informative about the process that he used to make these wonderful photographs. Um, we have also Michelle Miller. Uh, there's Michelle. <laughs> Beverly Fondren. Mary Garcia. Tina Ibarra. Steve Harrigan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve Davis. <laughs> or rather, Steve. Steve. Yeah, that's, I know. I, I do. That happens all the time. You guys look alike. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Katie. Saltzman and Joel Miner, our two archivists, are here as well. So they're a fabulous staff. They make me happy every day I come to work. Uh, we have a number of special guests as well this evening. Uh, we have some members of our newly configured advisory committee. We're very happy they're here. Faustinos Deraet, Steve Harrigan is on the advisory committee. John Payne, I believe, is here, and Bill Cunningham. Glad you all came. And, it, and if I left anyone out, is anybody else here on the advisory committee? Oh, yes, yes, Miriam Echeverria and, and Avi Bonar. See, I just this is terrible. And <laughs> and, uh, and Mark is here as well. Oh, gosh. Um, we also have some members of our, uh, of our steering committee. We're having an anniversary gala. It's the 20th anniversary of the uh, Southwestern Writers Collection, the 10th anniversary of the Whitliff Gallery, and uh, on, on May 27th, we're having a big shindig at the Four Seasons. Uh, this requires the work of many people, many volunteers, as well as staff members, and uh, support from the university, which has been generous and forthcoming. And uh, I've, some of our uh, steering committee members are here. Peggy Pickle is here. Barbara Morgan is here. There's Barbara. Uh, Elizabeth Crook is here. And Reed and Susan Whitliff are both here as well. And is anybody else here from the steering committee that I didn't recognize? Anyway, thank you all so much for uh, the work that you're doing. I think it's going to be a wonderful evening, a great silent auction. So inform yourselves on the website and try to come and save the date. Most of you probably got save the date cards. Uh, we have as well uh, the head of the library, uh, Joan Heath is here. She's the vice president. There's Joan. And our, 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 our vice president, the vice president for information technology, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Van Wyatt, is here as well. Yay, Van. And uh, president, uh, Denise Trouth, is here with us tonight as well. There's Denise. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Uh, we have two, the founding donors of the collection. Bill is seated up here and Sally's in the audience, hooray. And 
some wonderful donors as well. Uh, um, Keith Carter and his wife Pat, who are, are have been supporters of the collection for years, and we've we've we have a, a grand collection of Keith's work that we're very proud of. Also, I believe Mike Levy is here. He's responsible for the largest, there you are, for the largest uh, single archive here at the Southwestern Writers Collection, and that's the Texas Monthly Production Ar Archives. They live downstairs in the annex in brand new shelves, and we're extremely fortunate and proud to have those. And glad you came, Mike. Uh, and a new, a new donor as well, and that's Mara Levy, who's, uh, <laughs> who has helped support uh, uh, the, our upcoming book on Graciela Iturbide that will be out uh, this coming fall. There's so many people to, I could go on, but I'll stop now. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I'll, it, it takes a long time. As I was preparing introductions for the three panel members, I realized that it was probably going to take too long to really say everything that they've done. So I'll go through this pretty quickly. I always assume that everyone knows Bill Whitliff, but just in case some of you are not r too familiar with, with what, who he is and what he's done, uh, I introduced him a moment, moment ago as one of the founding donors of the Writers Collection as well as the Whitliff Gallery. Uh, he's had a number of careers, uh, a book publisher, he and his wife Sally started the Encino Press. He's a book designer as well, a screenwriter, a film producer and director and a photographer, uh, which is apparent from the wonderful show we've had tonight. And many of you have seen his vaquero photographs as well as his, uh, as his Lonesome Dove photos. Um, the Encino Press, uh, Bill and Sally started when they were just babies right out of college. And uh, by the time they were done, <laughs> well, and they, st they still are, it's true, the young at heart, that's the important thing. <laughs> but anyway, the Encino Press was in business, uh, I mean, it was still publishing until about 1983. I think that was the last, the last year of publication. And by the time that run of books was done, I think they had, they had won probably at least over a hundred awards for, for design and content. They're really beautiful books. If any of you are bibliophiles, I know you know about the Encino Press. Many people collect the books uh, even, even yet. And uh, we have the remaining inventory of the Encino Press, which, uh, which uh, will be on our website very soon for sale. So there will be some of those books still out and about. Uh, Bill has written uh, multiple scripts, Barbarossa, Raggedy Man, The Black Stallion, Honeysuckle Rose, Country, Red-Headed Stranger, The Cowboy Way, Legends of the Fall, The Perfect Storm, and he's probably best known for, for the CBS miniseries based on Larry McMurtry's Pulitzer Prize winning novel called Lonesome Dove, uh, which is um, also a multiple award winner. Uh, we have all of the production archives for Lonesome Dove and, uh, and hope to have them exhibited in a permanent uh, exhibition uh, as, you know, relatively soon. We're looking forward to a nice exhibition space because people still come and they want to see Gus's hat and they want to see yeah, Tommy Lee's boots and, <laughs> and the big Colt Dragoon. And so I think, uh, I think Lonesome Dove will be in our lives for a long time. Um, Bill's first book of photographs came out just a couple of years ago. It was Vaquero. And now the second book is La Vida Brinca. Um, he is the editor of the Whitliff Gallery series. He's uh, now beginning work on a book of his Lonesome Dove photographs, which will be coming out in 2007. In the fall, I believe, of 2007. Um, he was very happy when, when uh, Steve Harrigan and Elizabeth Ferrer agreed to each to contribute an essay to his book. Uh, we're delighted also that they were able to attend this evening and uh, take part in the, in the panel discussion. Many of you already know Elizabeth from her tenure in Austin as the executive director of the Austin Museum of Art from 1997 until 2001. She came from the famed America Society in New York as their curator and exhibitions coordinator and then as director of the visual arts department and curator. 
in the course of her career as a museum consultant, lecturer, curatorial consultant, and administrator, she's also found time to write essays, introductions, entries in at least nine books. She's written numerous articles, exhibition catalogs, periodicals. She's been co-editor of the Latin American Artists of the 20th Century for the Museum of Modern Art. She's taught and lectured and participated in discussions all over the U.S. and Latin America. Focus is primarily on Latin American art. Her forthcoming monograph is a major work on the Mexican photographer Lola Alvarez Bravo, coming out for Aperture, accompanied by also a major exhibit of Lola Bravo's images, which Elizabeth curated as well. Um, it will open in New York, is that right? And then. It op opens in New York in September. The book comes out in. I hope September. In, so yeah, we hope in September. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, it will travel to venues throughout the U.S. and probably and perhaps abroad as well. Uh, Steve Harrigan uh, is an English major. <laughs> <laughs> and we want everyone to know it. <laughs> you, uh, you and Garrison, Ke Garrison Keeler would be proud of you because he's done right well. He's contributed to Rolling Stone, The Atlantic Monthly, Esquire, Texas Observer. He became a regular writer for Texas Monthly very shortly after its inception, uh, ultimately becoming a senior editor. He still contributes. As a matter of fact, he has a brand new novel coming out in just a matter of of days, I guess, or weeks. About a week and a half. A week and a half, uh, called Challenger Park, and it's excerpted in the current issue of Texas Monthly, so we're all looking forward to it. His first novel, Aransas, he completed when he was Adobe Paisano Fellow, and he's recently finished a screenplay of, of Aransas and is seeking funding, if, uh, <laughs> if any of you are interested. I've got one. I'm looking for funding. <laughs> Bill's looking, too. Elizabeth, do you have a screenplay? <laughs> <laughs> How many of us have screen? <laughs> His second novel, Jacob's Well, was named one of the best books of 1984 by the Washington Post and Dallas Morning News. He has written a number of, of very well-received uh, uh, nonfiction books on nature primarily, uh, A Natural State, Essays on Texas, Water and Light, uh, and Comanche Midnight and other essays. And then in 2000, he published the wonderful and, and critically very well received The Gates of the Alamo, uh, a critical and popular success. Uh, and then from Knopf as well, Challenger Park uh, comes out, as, as we mentioned, uh, in just a few days. And during all the time that he was writing and working for Texas Monthly, uh, while he was resting, he wrote screenplays in particular scripts for television production, such as the HBO production of The Last of His Tribe, The King of Texas, which was a Hallmark production, Beyond the Prairie, which was on CBS, and most recently The Colt, which was an adaptation of a Michael Sholokhov short story. And, and, so, and because of that production, Steve was nominated this year for a Writers Guild of America Award for, uh, for his adaptation of The Colt. Um, He's currently working on a movie for ESPN on Joe Namath, Broadway Joe, and uh, he's ad adapting for Lifetime Network, Network a cheerful little Friedrich Dürrenmatt <laughs> piece called The Visit. And uh, some of you may remember it. It was a, it was a movie with Ingrid Bergman and, and Anthony Quinn. Fairly dark, as I recall. We're very happy to have Steve on our advisory committee. And we're also proud and very fortunate to have his writing archives here at the Southwestern Writers Collection. This is just, I mean, it's just a real delight to have every, all these wonderful folks here tonight and have all of you here to listen to them. And so I'd like to introduce them. Introduce them. And now it's pretty much time to go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I might tell you where the title came from. Sally and I have a friend in Mexico who, who has considerable pesos, a very nice house and so on. 